A Sarasota man attacked and killed in horrific fashion. He stumbled upon an enormous hive of yellow jackets. As our Chris Trankman explains, by the time the victim was actually pulled from the nest, his body was covered with thousands of stings. I'm standing here in what the sheriff's office describes as a homeless camp next to some railroad tracks. Now, the pest control company that was called out to investigate found this. Take a look. Through these trees, they say a man was sleeping next to this spot right here. And what they found was one of the biggest yellow jackets nests they've ever seen. It hurts. It hurts bad. <laughs> Mike McLean says despite wearing a full protective suit, he was stung more than 30 times trying to reach the place where 47-year-old Chris Nelson was found, apparently stung to death. I was basically standing in four inches of bees, and they just found ways to to get up my bee suit regardless. McLean says unlike honeybees like the ones swarming here, each yellow jacket can sting multiple times, injecting a toxic venom that's harmless in small amounts, but deadly if you can't escape. McLean showed me firsthand how close the victim got to the nest. Well, there's the, there's the carton, and they were all the way underneath the root structure, all the way back to the fence. Once disturbed, yellow jackets are like killer bees. They attack relentlessly. McLean says if you're a target, he has one word of advice. Run. A yellow jacket is the worst there is. The hive was sprayed with a chemical that has eradicated the yellow jackets. Now, according to this pest control company, they say the best thing you can do if you are attacked by these very aggressive insects is to get inside some shelter, either a house or a car, to prevent the entire hive from stinging you. In Sarasota, Chris Trankman, ABC Action News.